Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, October 16th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode 600, and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. And because this is my 600th episode, I thought I'd open it with my boy. With my boy. Since he got such a good response last time out. Thank you guys for all the kind comments. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Oh. Okay, in today's episode, Leo Wu and Zhao Lusa share doggy pics on the same day. Vian Zhang shares an experience at the airport that brought her to tears. Dylan Wang shares his 7 day fitness vlog. And Shen Ye responds to the billing position issue. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, two dramas for today and the past few days. Cute Bodyguard is a modern drama starring Ling Meishi and Liu Te. It premiered on October 14th. Comedy and romance ensues when a cute girl with supernatural abilities becomes a wealthy heir's bodyguard. Cute Bodyguard is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. Then there's Light Chaser Rescue, a modern drama starring Leo Luo and Janice Wu. It premiered on October 14th as well. Leo Luo plays a lawyer who heads to an earthquake-stricken area in search of his missing sister. While there, he meets a rescue worker played by Janice Wu, and although they get off on the wrong foot, they eventually see the best in each other. Light Chaser Rescue is slated for 40 episodes and is available on Wii TV with English subs. That's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, dramas that recently passed review. There are a few of them. There's The Baking Challenge, a modern drama starring Wang Yanling and Zhao Xiaotang. It passed review and obtained an online record number on October 10th. Fighting for Love, a costume drama starring Crystal Zhang and Zhang Haowei. It passed review and obtained an online record number on October 11th. Eternal Brotherhood, a costume drama starring Yang Xuwen, Liu Yuning, and Zhang Mingen. It passed review and obtained an online record number on October 11th. And lastly, Brotherhood of Blades, Shadow of Mountain and River, a costume drama starring Leon Zhang and Chen Ruoxuan. It passed review and obtained an online record number on October 13th. The last two, Eternal Brotherhood and Shadow of Mountain and River, sound like wuxia dramas that I'd check out, so looking forward to those. I'll update if and when all those aforementioned dramas announce their premiere dates. Lastly, for drama updates, I recently came across a Weibo post that I wanted to share. It reveals 9 fairly new dramas that recently got an average Douban rating of over 7. Let me just run through them real quick, and bear in mind that these ratings are as of October 12th, 4 days ago. There's Falling Into You with 7.1, Mr. Bad with 7.2, and Are You Safe with 7.3. About Youth with 7.4, fair to say that this is a lesser known drama. It is a Taiwanese youth drama that stars Shen Jun and Li Zhenhao. It's a short one too, 8 episodes, 20 minutes or so each. Then there's Kunlun Tomb with 7.4. Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty with 7.5. The costume drama stars Yang Xuwen and Yang Zhekang. I'm thinking of checking this one out, heard lots of good stuff about it. A Familiar Stranger with 7.5, this is another lesser known and shorter one, 18 episodes, 10 minutes each. Tiger Visit Macau with 7.7. And lastly, with the highest rating of the bunch, Song of Life with 8.3, quite an impressive score. The modern drama stars Zhou Yiran and Connor Leung. It is another short one, 13 episodes only, and is available on YouTube, no English subs at the moment. It follows Zhou Yiran's character, a rookie makeup artist at a funeral parlor, and her journey from being a new hand to an experienced one. Another thing to bear in mind is that these dramas don't exactly have huge amounts of ratings. They have around 20,000, give or take, so it may be skewed. Kunlun Tomb had the most at around 70,000. In any case, which one of the nine have you guys checked out? 
And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates. And today we begin with a quick Cao Liying mention, who turns 35 today, October 16th. Well, she turned 35 yesterday in China because of the time difference. She didn't share anything on her personal Weibo, but her studio shared a time-lapse video of a sunrise at a beach. At the end of the clip, it looks like there's a birthday cake wishing her happy birthday etched out in the sand. She is currently working on the costume drama The Legend of Shen Li with Kenny Lin. Moving on, here are some cute feel-good pictures from Liu Wu and Zhao Lusi. On October 14th, Liu shared pictures of himself taking his dog Xiao Pei for a walk in the park. He teased Xiao Pei for his weight, saying that it was getting harder to hold him now. Xiao Pei was a stray that Liu rescued while filming the 2020 drama Crossfire. Liu named Xiao Pei after his character in the drama, Lu Xiao Pei. Entertainment sites have in the past called Xiao Pei a Guangxi native hound. On the same day, October 14th, Zhao Lusi also shared pictures of herself with her little canine friend. It looks like they kept each other company on set. Next up for celebrity updates, Vian Zhang recently shared a statement to clarify. 35-year-old Vian Zhang stars in the recently aired Checkmate with Hu Yitian and Leon Zhang. On October 12th, she shared a message on Weibo regarding an experience she had at the airport. She began it with, how could people be so unconcerned and cold? And went on to explain that while at baggage claim, she had a huge piece of luggage that was difficult to grab. Quote, I politely asked the lady next to me to move over a little. She glanced at my luggage, then continued playing with her phone and just stood there like she was nailed to the ground. Feeling helpless, I dragged the luggage with all my strength only to have it land on my foot. She said it was so painful it made her cry. However, she since deleted her post. Media outlets said her post caused heated discussion on social media, but they didn't quote anyone. Vien then shared another message on Weibo to say, I just like to post little interesting things about life, didn't expect to complicate things by being misinterpreted. Okay, I'll still keep being myself. Looks like she may have gotten negative responses to her first post. Anyway, I've been to many a baggage claim and oftentimes people are trying to jockey for the best spot to grab their luggage, so I understand not wanting to move if you found a sweet spot. But really, if someone needs you to just scoot over a little bit so they can grab their luggage which has already arrived when yours hasn't, doesn't hurt to just move over a little bit. You'll get your spot back after that person grabs their luggage, right? What do you guys think? Next up, on October 14th, Dylan Wang shared a fitness vlog on his personal Weibo and stressed the importance of exercise. In the 10-minute video, Dylan is heard saying that he had lost over 10 pounds of muscle and that he's finally back training to rebuild it. He requested his trainer to come up with a 7-day training plan. Other than doing a ton of weight work, he also spent some time playing basketball. I really like Dylan's message about the importance of exercise. With work, the new baby and everything, I still try to squeeze in about an hour in the gym every other day. Of course it's much easier if your gym is just downstairs like mine is, but hopefully you guys can find the time for regular exercise as well. It really is good for the body and mind. Next up, Shen Yue responds to the billing position issue. Sina Entertainment covered the story yesterday. 25-year-old Shen Yue stars in the recently aired Mr. Bad with Chen Zheyuan. The Aichi rom-com ran the last of its 24 episodes on October 9th. It has Chen Zheyuan as first build and Shen Yue as second. In a recent interview, Shen Yue was asked if she felt billing position had a big influence on an actor. She responded that she did not pay much attention to it. Quote, As an actor, once you become part of the cast, the most important thing is the acting. If production chose you just because of your billing position in your last show, then the work won't be very good. They should be choosing you because you're suitable, because you're a good actor. Some down-to-earth words from an actor who I feel is very good and instinctive. Lastly, for celebrity updates, a story involving Fan Chengcheng. Fan Chengcheng's official fan group recently took to Weibo to slam rumors involving the 22-year-old singer-actor. On October 10th, the fan group wrote, Outrageously fake, pure rumor, too gossipy, and shared two pictures with red fakes all over them. 
Fan Cheng Cheng has a tattoo under his arm which is not legible from distance. Some rumor mongers deciphered it to be, You are the brightest star in my sky. Love Justin forever, 2016 March 1st. The narrative they attach to it is that Justin is the English name of Huang Minghao from the boy band Next, and that March 1st, 2016 is the day the two first met. Well, the fan group very quickly shut down those rumors. They also shared this message to say, The impact of the fake news is extremely bad. The relevant social media users are suspected of infringing on Mr. Fan Cheng Cheng's reputation rights. We've sent a letter to the platforms and relevant persons. Please delete them immediately and stop the infringement. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, edition 143, October 16th, 2022. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10, Rocket Mom, the modern drama stars Yao Chen and Chang Yuan. Number 9, Mr. Bad, the modern drama stars Chen Zhiyuan and Shen Yue. Number 8, Are You Safe, the modern drama stars Tan Jianchi and Rong Zhishan. Number 7, Love Between Fairy and Devil, the costume drama stars Esther Yu and Dylan Wang. Number 6, Falling Into You, the modern drama stars Gina Jin and Wang Anyu. Number 5, Chasing the Undercurrent, the modern drama stars Johnny Huang and Tony Yang. Number 4, Quinlan Tomb, the modern drama stars Pan Yue Ming and Kitty Zhang. Number 3, Thousand Years For You, the Republican era drama stars Ellen Ren and Li Qing. Number 2, A Romance of the Little Forest, the modern drama stars Esther Yu and Vin Zhang. And number one, Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty, the costume drama stars Yang Shuyun and Yang Chikang. Strange Tales of Tang Dynasty is championed for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 543 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, 20 Year Life Fun Season 2, the modern drama stars Guan Xiaotong and Bu Guanjing. Number 9, Rising Lady, the modern drama stars Qing Hailu and Bai Bing. Number 8, Beloved Life, the modern drama stars Victoria Song and Wang Xiaochen. Number 7, Brave Wu Chu, the modern drama stars Andy Zhang and Li Naiwen. Number 6, Investigator, the modern drama stars Zhu Yawen and Wan Qian. Number 5, Impassioned Life, the retro drama stars Elvis Han and Adi Khan. Number 4, Our Times, the modern drama stars Bai Bai He, Wang Kai and Seven Tan among others. Number 3, Hu Tong, the retro come modern drama stars Xiao Lu Si and Neo Ho. Number 2, The Examination for Everyone, the modern drama stars Chen Bao Guo and Wang Qianyuan. And number 1, Draw the Line, the modern drama stars Jing Dong and Cheng Yi. Draw the Line ends the week with 543 points, making it champion for a third week running. And there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite drama performs. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.